Hello everyone, so I, it's Saturday and I've just had a buzz around the garden. There are other things I could and should be doing, but it's a really beautiful day and I had some things out and I also had some peonies that I'd been sent that were starting to fade and just looked so beautiful. So I thought I'd have a go with this vase that I was sent from Felicity Donaldson, who is one deer in Wellington, um, and ceramic artist that I've followed for years and years. So I, this is kind of exciting to do an arrangement in one of her vases. It's really beautiful. And I'm kind of, when I was picking around the garden, there's so much about to come out. So this is what I had, and some of it I've taken pretty big liberties in cutting because it's left a hole out there. But um, I sort of had this vibe of like sunset, so, or sunrise, like either end of the day, but warm colours, I guess. So, to get going, I'm going to scrumple up, this is pre-scrumpled chicken wire from another vase. It's, it's potentially way too much for this one. Let's see how we go. I don't need a lot of support in this because it's actually quite a narrow top. I'm a bit concerned this might be quite tight, but I'm going to give it a whirl anyway. So it's so firmly in there that I don't need to put tape over the top. But if it was a wider bowl, I would definitely use florist tape. And you don't have to be a florist to get florist tape. It is specifically for this situation, um, so it's nice and sticky and sort of stretchy. I just Googled it and ordered it online. Okay, I'm just gonna fill this up. Okay, I will try to do it facing you, but we'll see how we go. So I'm gonna start with foliage. I have been playing around with this already, so I think a lot of it's cut kind of to the right length. Um, this is Aquilegia, or as I like to call it, Granny Bonnet foliage. Definitely in my top two favourite foliage. It will last so long that when this whole arrangement fades, I will simply pull this out and use it in another one. It's so great. I love it. Always trying to kind of think which way something wants to go and working with its natural bends. It also is hard at the start because um, as you get more stems in there, it's easy to thread bits through. So these will flop around a little bit. This is Corfi, off my own tree. Not my favorite tree. It always looks a bit sickly, but man, did it flower this year. So I kind of wanted to steal some to celebrate in an arrangement. Oh, it's very selective. Uh, this is a really pretty bearded iris. None of my irises I know the name of um, because they were all just divisions given to me from friends who, and family who dug them up out of their garden. I think they're so weird and kind of alien with these fuzzy bits on them. But when you look closely at their leaves, there's this sort of gossamer shimmer. It's really beautiful and magical. Always give a wee snip. Fennel, my all-time favourite. It's just regular fennel the herb. As you can see, I'm sort of making it so the action's out this way and it's kind of flat at the back. Check out the colour of this and the colour of its fuzzy tongue. <laughs> it's really amazing. Um, I do have slight garden guilt for kind of rescuing this. It, as you can see, it's very wobbly and it wasn't that happy where it was in the garden. But normally I wouldn't, I wouldn't be brave enough to harvest this knowing that I am going to not get these two. That's very unlikely they're going to open in the vase. But we'll just make the most of it. They're called gems and this is my first 
proper season, having them established, and I absolutely love them. They have the longest, longest stems. I know that they're going to flower as I cut them all year. This is sort of a disruptive colour to put in. Quirky is funny. It's fun. Quirky is funny. Quirky is funny. Then I've got these really scraggly bits of mini chrysanthemum. Um, but I do, I feel like having as many different shapes is what makes it so interesting to look at. So I'm going to poke them in. When they're this light, they can almost kind of hover not needing to be spiked and they lean on everyone around them as long as their toes are in the water uh, this is aquilegia or granny bonnet um, it's the prettiest color self-seeded in my garden from somewhere but it's pretty covered in aphids but i just think it had actually broken off which is why i took so much so I'm going to try to make it work in here. <laughs> this is so weird. It's so weird. But sort of super summery at the same time. Anyway. <laughs> it's worth a go. Have a go.